In this video, I'll demo the Zune integration in Windows Phone 7. So you can go right to the Zune app, which brings up your history of your last played song, or last played YouTube video, or anything else like that. My last played thing was actually Slacker Radio, so it'll load Slacker Radio right up for you. And it'll start playing... The station that you're last playing. Of course, there's no multitasking right now, so if you go back, Slacker will stop. Of course, your own music works fine for multitasking. You can do whatever you want if you're playing your own Zoom music. But if you're streaming something like Slacker, If you're streaming something like Slacker or Last FM, the Pandora app isn't available yet, but that'll be soon available. You can't stream that in the background. But when you have Zoom here, it doesn't really matter that you can't use those apps because you can get unlimited music with a Zoom pass here. So let's go into your Zune music. Right there you have all your artists. You can jump to an artist. You can go to their artist page. You can load stuff that they have from the marketplace. You can also just view a list of your songs. You can go to individual albums. It's just like normal. You can adjust the volume right there. And of course, whenever you're doing anything else, like going through here, say, looking at your calendar, you can always just adjust the volume and skip the song, pause it, play it, just like you'd expect. Same as from the lock screen. When you open up your lock screen, you have control of it right there. Now let's go back to the Zune app. And so it has your history of your last song played. And it keeps track of your history right there. And this right here is keeping track of your new music that you recently downloaded. So that's the artists. You can go to albums. Album art loads pretty quickly there keeps up with your scrolling all of your songs which is a huge list for me and your playlists so you can play something right there and genres of course is there when you're playing a song you can tap right here to view what's next in the playlist so you can just skip to another song that you want, which is really, really nice. And you can actually see right there in really small text what the next song is going to be. Oh, I'm sorry, that didn't focus. And it downloads the um, some little artist pictures to display in the background, which is really nice. You can tap on it, you can give it a heart or a broken heart to rate it, you can turn shuffle on off, repeat on off, skip to the next song, skip to the next song, play pause, just the usual stuff. And I don't believe there's any right clicking, like hold and click in the zoom. Oh yeah, there is. So if you like a part, you, if you like an artist, you can just pin him to your start screen. And then you get 30 seconds to Mars right there. And you can instantly play them. So that's pretty nice. And then you can pause that. And... You also get your videos here, which I don't have any videos yet, but they just do the usual. They play in full screen, etc. 
nothing out of the ordinary. And you can listen to podcasts if you have any. Or if you plug in your headphones, you can listen to the radio. Now it is just standard radio, not high definition radio, but nevertheless it's pretty decent. If I turn this up. It pulls in the song's name and the channel's name and everything. Unfortunately, you can't tag songs in the Zune marketplace yet. But you can flip through the channels. You can go to your favorites. It's your standard radio. And then you have the marketplace where you can download new songs, of course. And if you have a Zune Pass, you can download as many songs as you want. So, let's check out Taylor Swift's new album. You can look at it there. One complaint here is if you have a Zune Pass, everything is free to download, correct? Except for it shows the buy prices. To download something, you actually have to tap and hold it, and then click download. You can also share an album to a friend and it will bring them to a link to the Zune Marketplace about the album. Or you can add it to your Now Playing so you can actually like modify the Now Playing playlist which is a nice feature that carried over from the Zune. And you can search for an artist like Maroon 5 you can search for them and it'll pull up the results and there's Maroon 5, it also pulls up playlist results and songs like the Misery song and it even pulls up application results for things too. So there's Maroon 5. And when you actually search for Maroon 5 and you're looking through their online content, you can actually view your own content right there too. And if you have a Zoom Pass, you can just click play and it'll start to stream the song instantly. And it takes maybe up to 10 seconds to open the song. And it started playing right now. It's really good quality for streaming over 3G. It's really nice. And that is all of the Zoom page. It is missing... Um, what do you call it? The channels that Zoom Marketplace has, they are not to be found in the Zoom Player here. While on the Zoom HD, channels are very much present and alive. So you can't sync those channels yet. Hopefully they'll add that in a future update. And finally, you have some integration here called the Marquee where related music apps can be accessed, like lyrics. So you can jump to the lyrics right there. And that app couldn't find it. There's a different lyrics app that works a bit better usually. Lyrics Now is my favorite. Okay, well let's try a different song. There we go, this song should definitely work. So we can go to our Zune Hub and check out the lyrics for this song. 
And this one actually loads them in. It's been a while since two of us talked. So there you have it. You have your lyrics. And you can search for lyrics. You can buy the song. It recognizes the song and allows you to go straight to the Zoom Marketplace. You can read a bio about the artist. Find more lyrics for that artist, like We Cry. And you can open that. And if you have the song in your player, if you have the song in your player and you open the lyrics there, you can instantly play it from the app and it'll find it in your music and start playing it. Which is a really nice touch. And then, of course, there's the ZooTube app. Or YouTube app. <laughs> and it just loads the mobile YouTube. Yeah, not that great. One big complaint about YouTube on your data network is that the resolution of the videos is really low. That's the biggest the screen can go, and it's pretty pixelated, if you can tell. What's up, y'all? This is me, Jordan, a.k.a. DJ River, and I'm here to preside over this wizard rap battle. So you can kind of tell how pixelated it is there. That's kind of disappointing, because with T-Mobile's really fast 3G speeds, you should be able to do better than that but it'll keep your YouTube video history right in there and other apps like Last.fm can integrate with Zoom here so that you can just start streaming your Last.fm music Pull that out. and you can load up Last.fm so here's Last FM. You can load up a station, etc. You can check out your profile for recent tracks. And that's your usual Last FM. This also does not multitask, so once you leave the application, your music will stop. You can at least play things with the screen off, and it'll keep on playing. So at least that works. Uh, yep, that's the usual. And it stops playing. Hopefully they add multitasking soon, because that's kind of disappointing. Finally, one last note about YouTube. There actually is a YouTube app that someone else made, and it actually loads a really nice YouTube interface instead of just the mobile YouTube. It pulls in results there. You can search for something like, what's a good video? Let's just look at ninjas. Why not? And you can search for something, and it'll pull it in. Urban ninjas. Why not? And it loads a really nice page. with. It even brings in the screenshot of the video in the background. You can look at the author's other videos, or the details of it related videos and you can watch it that'll just open up the web browser which opens up the link to the video but it's a really nice experience and then your video starts playing as normal and you can go right back to where you are in the app, go back, 
and do everything that you would want to do. You can't write things yet, but this is already a lot better than the YouTube, mobile YouTube. So, that is everything for the Zune app.